next. A live look at our Bay Area roads where there's a nationwide effort to transition to zero emission vehicles, which would heavily impact Californians. New study says that widespread use of electric cars would result in about 1,500 avoided deaths in this state. By switching to an all-electric vehicle, you're not only saving money on gas. KPI X5's Max Darrow explains you're also saving those lives. Electric zero emission cars are becoming increasingly popular. In the beginning when I had this car, I'd only see a few and be like, oh, there's one, there's one, and now it's everywhere. As EVs become the norm over the next few decades. I think more people will go to EV vehicles than non-EV vehicles. New findings from the American Lung Association reveal the transition will save thousands of lives in California along the way. There are thousands and thousands of premature deaths every year in California due to air pollution. Will Barrett is the senior director for clean air advocacy with the American Lung Association. He says their study focused on the public health benefits of getting off of fossil fuels. There's a wide range of negative health consequences associated with unhealthy air. It's everything from minor irritation like coughing and wheezing to more serious health emergencies like asthma attacks, heart attacks, and strokes. According to Barrett, a widespread transition to vehicles powered by clean electricity would provide tens of billions of dollars in public health benefits locally by 2050. That comes out to about 3,800 lives saved, over 100,000 asthma attacks avoided, and over half a million lost work days avoided because the air would be cleaner in the Bay Area. Amy Primus owns an EV. She thinks the Lung Association's findings are just one more reason to make the switch to electric. We should become electric with all vehicles and trucks because it will make a huge difference in air quality, standard of life, and all that. At gas stations these days, the idea of making the switch to electric is on a lot of people's minds. Would you ever consider getting an electric car? Yeah, eventually. If I can afford, but I cannot afford it now. Barrett says there's a long way to go over the next few decades, but the process will have a dramatic impact on air quality and public health as it unfolds. We know that there's a long way to go, but we also know that there's active policy act action right now. By 2035, California will halt sales of gas-powered cars and passenger trucks. In San Mateo, Max Sidero, KPIX 5.